Hi, Eli. Hi, hi. How are you? How, what's up? What's up? What's up? Hello, Eli. You hear me? Hello, hello, teacher. Yes. Ah, okay. Perfect, perfect. How is it going? How is it going today? Very well, teacher. Okay. Uh, Excellent. That's that's great. Uh no rain, right? No rain anymore. Uh, no, no. Okay, that is something good. Maybe tomorrow is is uh, kind of normal. What do you think for tomorrow? Yeah. Um, eh, no, ¿cómo decirle? Eh, un, un day is sunny. Okay, uh -huh. maybe tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Si queremos hablar de probabilidad, right? Maybe tomorrow okay. is sunny. Sunny. Correct. Very good. That is a verb to be. Ahí usamos el verb to be. El más fácil, right? Maybe tomorrow is sunny. Okay. Okay, sorry guys. Uh, hello, William. Hello, hello. I can hear you, teacher. Ah, okay, perfect, perfect. How are you, William? How's it going today? Ah, uh, hello. Good evening. Good evening. And I'm fine. Good. Yeah, I'm fine, and I'm a little tired after the job. Oh, I can imagine. Okay, but don't worry. The class is is one hour, and we take. To we have to take it as much as we can from this hour. I can aprovecharlo, right? In other words. Okay, guys, welcome, uh, Eli and William. Thank you for joining. I don't know where are the others, but we have to begin with the class. Okay, welcome. Class number three. Class number three. Guys, an, an announcement, anuncio. If you if you saw the the WhatsApp group tomorrow no class. Okay. We are going to recover, vamos a recuperar uh, tomorrow's class for Friday para la del viernes. All right? Yes. Okay. Okay. Perfect, perfect. And as you know, the indications, your name, no problem with that. Uh, you are on time. Thank you. No distractions, okay? No phone, TV. Your camera, if you have camera, use it. So I can, I can interact with you. Be attentive and your participation. You know that is always important. And the online platform. Are you doing the online platform in the sections? Hello, Jensi. In the plan. Uh, I work in the platform. Okay, okay, pretty good. Guys, advance as much as you can in the assignments, in the exercises, in the platform. You can advance more than section one and two if you can. Si puede, avance más. No problem. Uh, yeah. Yep. Mm -hmm. eh, yo en la plataforma sí estoy trabajando en ella, pero hay un ejercicio que yo no lo puedo hacer. Usted ya lo intenté bastantes veces y no, no me sale. Okay. In that case, what should you do? ¿Qué debería hacer? Take a screenshot. Tome un screenshot de la pantalla in the section. Mm -hmm. uh -huh, the exercise. A screenshot and section. Okay. Un screenshot de la sección, de donde está haciéndolo, y del exercise. Algunas veces me envían solo del ejercicio, pero no sé en qué section is. O si no al revés, ¿verdad? Solo aparece sección tal, pero sale todos los e exercises. Ah, ok. Ajá. In that, in that I way, I can guide you. Así sí lo puedo guiar, como hacerlo. Okay. Uh, let's see. Okay, let's okay. begin. Okay, no problem. Uh, remember, you can ask your questions or doubts during the class, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And the skills? The skills, speaking, uh, listening, the grammar, and the practice. Guys, do you do you work? Do you work all day? Do you yes. work? 
Yes. All right. Okay. Uh, I had an idea. Tenía idea que sí. Okay, but remember, practice in English is very important. Try. Try to practice on weekends, al menos on weekends. And the tools that we use. Okay. Uh, guys, do you exercise in in your house or at the gym? Do you practice any sport? Uh, what do you do to exercise? In the weekend, I am going, I'm going running, or oh, I'm going to run. Oh, okay, on the weekend, I go running. Uh, That's the I way. Go. Correct. As he is. I on the weekend I go running. I like running too. Me llega. Okay, nice. And and you, uh, Eli? Uh, uh, no, I I don't teach and, and don't practice any exercise. Any uh, exercise or a sport? Oh, okay. But remember, exercising is important. I don't do it neither. Tampoco yo, <laughs> but I know. <laughs> Yes, me neither, but anyways, the time, tiempo, right? Jensi, uh, do you practice any export or do you exercise at the gym, uh, in your house, maybe? No, anymore. Okay, no exercise, no sports. No. The same as us, como Eli and me. <laughs> okay, only William yes. exercises. Oh, good for you, William. Nice. Okay. Nice. <laughs> nice, nice. Okay, guys. When talking about exercise or sports, we use different vocabulary. Uh, William, in this slide, can you can you read it, please, from the title? Desde el título. Okay. Fitness vocabulary. 10 fitness vocabulary terms and phrases in English. All right. The first one, uh -huh, the vocabulary, first one is? Vocabulary. Workout. Workout. What is workout? The meaning. The meaning, ejercitarse, entrenar. Okay, you can make the question, do you work out, guys? Do you work out? Mm. Yeah. Sometimes on the weekend. Ah, okay. Sometimes on the weekend. Very good. That is optional. You can make the question. Do you exercise? But exercise is too general. Muy general, right? Uh, better you say, mejor dice, do you work out? That is one, uh, one vocabulary about fitness. Number two is? Warm up. Warm, warm up. What is warm up? That means? Calentar. Uh -huh. As a verb. verb. Como verbo. Yes. Or It, as a noun. Calentamiento. Do you, do you think that is important to warm up before working out? Is it important? Yes or no? Yes, it's very important. Okay, you can use the word. Puedo usar la word. Yes, it is important to or warm up. Or. Warm up, calentar, correct. Very good. Gen C, next. Cool down. Cool down, that is? Enfriar. Enfriar, okay. After working out, is it important to cool down? Is it important to cool down after the exercise? Yes or no? Important or not important to cool down? Mm, yes, it's important. Correct. It's important to? Cool down. Cool down. Yes, very good. Next vocabulary. Jogging. jogging is? Trotar. 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 Okay, jogging. 
Uh, this, ah, this one is pretty important. <laughs> huh? Die, diet. Diet. Do you practice or do you have any diet? Do you have any type of diet? It's difficult. <laughs> ah, with pupusas is difficult. With burritos is difficult. Yes, I know. I like eating. También me gusta comer, I know. I like eating. Dieting, ah, difficult. That's it. Yes. Okay, next vocabulary. Aerobics. Aerobics. Uh -huh. In at the gym, people do aerobics. Ah, oh, this one. Gym. Gym. Where, where do you go, uh, William? Where do you go? What gym do you go to? No, I don't. No, I don't. I, uh, you don't go to when the gym? I, when I do exercise, I run in the street. Ah, okay. You run on the streets. Okay, but instead of exercise, en lugar de ejercicio, puedo usar the vocabulary. Work out. Work out. When I, cuando, when I. When I work out. Work out. Es lo mismo que exercise. It's the same. Mm. Okay, you can okay. use it as extra vocabulary. Out. Correct. When I work out, I run on the street. Okay, pretty good. Uh, the next uh, activities uh, in the gym you can do? No, yoga. Yoga. Do you do you like yoga? Yoga as as an exercise? It's kind of no. kind of no. cool, más o menos. Okay, kind of cool. Next one is Pilates. 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 I guess it's Pilates. Pilates. Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. Oh, what else about this? Ooh, it's delicious. Junk <laughs> yeah. food. Junk food. Or the healthy opposite. Healthy food. Healthy food. Okay. What is your favorite junk food that you love? My favorite, my favorite junk food is, uh, is pizza. Pizza. From where? From what place? Mm, pizza Hut, Papayons. Mm, okay. Artesanal. <laughs> ah, okay. Hand, handmade. Artesanal, podemos decir que es an option. Una opción, you can say, puede decir handmade. Hecha mano o artesanal. Hand, uh, handmade. Handmade. Hand yes. Hecha mano. Artesanal. Handmade. All right, pretty good. What about you, Jensi? What is your favorite junk food that you love eating when you have opportunity? My favorite junk food is hamburger. Okay, from which uh, from which which brand? Cook for me. Okay, I mean brand. I mean McDonald's, uh, Burger King. Uh, let's see, what brand? ¿Qué marca? What brand? Any? Any hamburger? ¿Cualquiera? Okay, no problem. Eli, and you? Uh, my favorite junk food is tacos, uh, gringas. Okay, Mex you love Mexican food, I see. Yes. Okay, pretty good. Okay, Joel, welcome. Hello, Joel. How's it going? Hello, hello. Hello. Joel, we are talking about junk food in the class. What junk food you like? Junk food, pizza, hot dogs, hamburgers, not healthy food. Do you have any, any special or favorite? John food. Joel? Yes. Hamburger. Hamburgers as well. Okay. As Jensi, como Jensi. Okay. Good. And healthy food. What is healthy? Guys, what is a healthy food? Salud. 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 Ah, very good. What is the healthy food that you like? Mm. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Salad. Vegetable. 
vegetables, correct? Salads, they are delicious. Go green, right? Go green, salads. <laughs> yes, they have many types. Uh, Pizza Hut, they have salads too. Yes, uh -huh. delicious. They delicious. Yeah, they are, correct, they are. So, see so, very good. And finally, Jim. Jim is Okay, very good. Guys, this is all only vocabulary you can practice when talking about fitness or exercise at the gym or at any place. Next, we have some idioms. Okay, five, five Eight. English. Idioms about fitness. Idiom fitness. About health. fitness. In here. Okay. Joel, what is the first idiom? Joel, can you can you read it, please? The first idiom is uh William, maybe in Bab shape means. Are you in bad shape, guys? Are you in bad shape? Be honest, be honest. I am, I am in bad shape. I am in bad shape. I'm seeing in bad shape. Yes, that happens in front of the mirror, right? In front of the mirror. Not good, no bueno, not good in bad shape. Next idiom. Back in to shape. Ah, that means to return in a good shape. Regresar a? Would you like? <laughs> would you like? I would like me, but I can't. Ah, but it's difficult. It's difficult. That's it. What is the question that you can make? ¿Cómo puede hacer la pregunta? ¿Te gustaría regresar a estar en buena forma in English? Would you, would you like would... to back into ah. shape? Ah, more formal, much formal. Would, would, uh -huh. would you like? Uh -huh. Would you like to back into shape? To be, to be back. Ah, to be back. Be back. Shape. To be. Because to would be. Would you is... like to be back hmm? into shape? Okay. Back into, right? Into the into idiom. Shape, into ah, shape. Yes. Into mm -hmm. shape? Yes, mm -hmm. of course. Of course I would. Of course, for supuesto. Okay, very good. The next one. Cast. Iron. Cast iron. Stomach. Iron. Cast iron. Stomach. Stomach. Letter K at the end. Como letter K. Stomach. Okay. Oh, okay. That means? Correct. Uh -huh. Do you have a, an iron stomach? Do you have? No. No. <laughs> no. Okay. No, no. You don't resist uh, tortas, uh, green gas, burritos. You don't resist them. No lo resiste. Too much. Mucho. Okay. Be careful with the junk food. Be careful with the junk food. Okay, next, next idiom. Full of beans. Full of beans means? Tener mucha energía. Ah, okay. Are you, are you full of beans uh, during the day? Guys, Jensi? Yeah, full of beans. Uh -huh, okay. Full of what? beans. Are you, are you full of beans? Do you have energy during the day? Maybe. Maybe. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. Guys, you can use idioms in English instead of normal language. Good. And finally, we have get get back on your feet. Get back on your feet. What does it mean? ¿Qué significa? Recuperarse de enfermedad. Ah, uh, okay. Good. How do I say in English? Como digo en inglés. Ah, me alegra ver que estés de nuevo recuperado. Mm, I'm glad to... I'm glad, I'm glad to... Uh -huh. I'm glad to... Me alegra. To, to see you, maybe. One you. option. 
en the idiom. Because es como se te dijo, get back on your feet. You get oh, back on your okay. feet. Okay. Get back on your feet. Your feet. Okay, this is an idiom, as you see. Es como decir, I'm glad to see you recovered. What is recovered? Mm -hmm. Recuperado. Correct. Using idioms, you can say it this way. Usando idioms, de esta manera. You have more options in English. Okay, that is some vocabulary for you to practice. No problem. Let's continue. The next, the next real topic is we are going to practice questions with question with how short answer. Short answers. Okay, this is not complicated for you. Uh, Jane C, question one. How often do you work out? Um, in this moment, I don't work out. Mm -mm. I know I don't. I don't work out in this moment. Okay, question two. Eli, question for uh, for Jensi. Jensi, how well do you play base, base, basketball? No, I don't like dipples. Okay, good. That is one option for, for your answer. Very good. Uh, let's see. Uh, Joel, next question. Uh, how long do you speak I think? How long? How much time, in other words? How long? How long? Mm -hmm. Do you spend? Do you spend? At the gym. At the gym. Uh, William? How long do you spend at the gym working out? William, hello, William, attend. Hello, hello. Uh huh. How long do you ah. spend at the gym? Uh, I'm, I'm not going to the gym. Okay, very good. In that case, I it would be, sería, I don't go. I don't go. To the chain. To the beach. To the beach. No, to the beach. <laughs> I'm thinking on vacations. <laughs> to the beach. Why? Okay. No, no problem. Okay. And finally. How good are you at sport? In which sport? Mm, I don't I don't practice any sport. Do you practice uh, any type of a sport, guys? Sometimes. Mm, I I play football, but it's rarely. Ah, okay. Sometimes. Okay. In this, on this side, you have, you have expression times that you can use, as you know. But for the last one, para la última, how good are you at a sport? What is the most appropriate answer for this question? Could I say not often? Uh, not often, but not often would be for the number one. Mm -hmm. How often do you work out? Uh, not often, okay. but for how good, how good are you at this sport? What is the meaning of the question, guys? What's the meaning? ¿Qué significa? ¿Qué tan bueno eres en los deportes? At a sport, sí. huh? Okay. Not much. Uh, not, not so good. Mm, okay, not so good, yes. Uh, not so good. Not so good. No tan, no tan bueno. Okay. Mm -hmm. Or? Not much, no. Uh, not much. Mm, how that. good are you at a sport? Not much. Mm, no, it doesn't match. No pay ahí. No, no okay. Uh -huh. Yes. Maybe this one, yes. Kinda, kinda. Kinda mm -hmm. good. Ah, what, what is the meaning? Kinda good is informal, más o menos. Ahí voy. Kinda good, más o menos. Bien. Okay. Uh, no big deal for these ones. There are normal questions 
with WH. How often? Or you can ask. Oh, how well? How well? How long? How, long? how, long? how good? Uh, how long? Physical condition how? or ability. How, how, good? how okay. good? Okay, very good. Uh, questions on, on this part? Any type of question that you might have? There are normal normal questions with WH. Doubts? Questions? Mm, repeat again the difference, how well and how good. Okay, the difference. How well, this is pretty similar. It, in fact, it is pretty similar. How well do you play? How well is asking about maybe a percentage in which you can play a sport, maybe a 10%. What is 10% in your opinion? 10%. Mm. How well do you play basketball? How well? ¿Qué tan bien? Uh, I believe. Uh -huh. Options? How well? Mm. Answers for how well? How well do you play in sports? I, I can play basketball. Ah, that is one option. Very good. I can play basketball. That is one option. All right. Very good. Another type of option for how well? How well? How well? Mm. No, no. Okay. I, I don't like. Perdón. Uh -huh, pardon? I don't like. I don't. Ah, okay. I don't like basketball. Another okay. option. Mm -hmm. Very good. Another one that you can use. I don't play basketball very, very well. Very, very well. well. All right. Yes. You have three options for that question. Check. One, two, and three. Ah, and for the question, how good are you? What is the difference? The difference is, in this one, the question is with the auxiliary, check, with the auxiliary do. Oh, no, 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 it's how well in this one, in this one. Question with the auxiliary, and in this one, ah, uh, sorry, and this one is with? With the birthday. Oh. Okay. What about if I ask you, si lo pregunto, how good are you uh, in tennis? How good are you in tennis? Answers? I don't play tennis very well. Okay. That can be. Puede ser también. But you can answer using the same auxiliary. Puedo contestar usando el mismo auxiliary. What is the auxiliary in the question? Good. Uh, the or auxiliary. Or, or. The verb to be, correct. Uh, teacher, verb to be in the answer. Verb to be in la respuesta también. Yes. Uh -huh. Soy buenísimo en tenis. ¿Cómo digo soy buenísimo en tenis? I am. I'm or the contraction. Yes, mm. use contractions. I'm very good. No. Okay. Mm. I'm very good. Correct. I'm very good. Good. Uh, playing. Well, any sport. Any sport. Basketball. Yes. Ah, okay. Okay. Good. You are using. The, the same verb to be, but in the answer. In negative, ah, ah, soy terrible jugando, I don't know, uh, soccer. I am terrible. Correct. I'm terrible, terrible. Playing. playing, playing, soccer, uh, soccer tennis, etc. Very good. That is the difference. The difference is the auxiliary verb. Do and are 
in R, that is verb to be. Uh, that is it. Okay? But in meaning, they mean the same. In significado, es lo mismo. All right. Okay. Uh, clear? Clear on that? Claro? Yes. Clear. All right. All right. Okay, pretty good. Let's see. Let's continue with the next. Ah, this is important, guys. The next topic. Simple. Simple. Uh, question, question with auxiliary did. With auxiliary did. Okay. Maybe you remember about this topic in previous in previous courses. What is simple past? Action, Action. that in the uh, end. Ended. Ended. Uh -huh, ended. ended. Or were, were finished in a specific time in the past. All right. That's it. Actions that ended. Acciones que? Action that ended. They are Action done. Is, completed. Uh, they are completed. They are done. They are mm -hmm. in the past already. In the past. Very good. Let's see. Ah, simple past with the auxiliary did, affirmative, negative, and questions. Okay, question for you guys. Uh, what did you do last uh, last weekend? Let's see, or last night, or yesterday? What did you do in the morning, yesterday, or during the day? What did you do? In the morning, I get up. And after I take the bus for my work, and during the day, uh, I'm doing. I was doing activities in my area. Area or area? Uh, you can say area. Area. Or area. Those are two pronunciations. Okay. Yeah. Some people um, say area or area. Activity. I've heard. He oído both. que dicen area or area. Más area o se vale, entonces. Both, both. You can both. use both. Cualquier. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Thank you, William. Uh, what about you, uh, Joel? What did you do yesterday? Yesterday was uh, Tuesday. Mm. What did you what did you do? What did you do? I mean activities that you did yesterday. A specific activities that you did. What is did, guys? What is did? Uh, activities working. Ah, okay, okay, very good. Check. When giving answers para contestar, we use the normal rule, the general rule in English, in any tense, para cualquier tiempo. The subject, the verb, and the complement. What did you do? Did in red is, is the auxiliary. auxiliary, correct. Okay. Because it's simple past. In simple past, we have to use the auxiliary did. And do is verb. Ver the verb. The verb do, that means, significa? Hacer. Hacer, correct. What did you do? Last weekend, uh, last night, you have to use past, simple, past expressions. For example, guys, simple past expressions. Tell me some examples. This is more. I, Last week. Aha, in simple past. Sim past. Sim not simple present because simple present expressions are the ones that we studied, las que estudiamos. Every day, uh, twice a week, three times a month. But those are in present. Esas son in present. What about in simple past? Last weekend. Last night. Last night, correct. Last mm. night. Yesterday. Yesterday. Correct. Yesterday. What else? Mm, last, last month. 
Last month. Uh -huh. last That's year. right. Y la T. Which one? Uh, well, last year, no. Ah, and, and, and Tier. And Tier in English. Last year. Last year. Ah, last year. Ah, okay. Last year. Last year. ¿Y cómo digo Antier? Antier, como dice, no, no sé cómo. Ah, ok. And yesterday. Ah, uh, the day. The day. The day before. Ajá, uh, the day before yesterday. El día antes de ayer, right? Ajá, uh -huh. that is one, that is the way. Ok, uh, any other? Any other? Ah, ok. You can use the word ago. Puedo usar las palabras con ago. I go to, I go to uh -huh. Mont. Example. I go to Mont. Ah, the opposite. Change, change the order. Change it. Change the order. To, to, uh, two months ago. Correct. Two months, two months ago. At the final. Uh -huh. For example, mm -hmm. or three hours ago, one hour, hours ago, ago, an hour ago, two hour. minutes ago, even one mm -hmm. minute ago, etc. Yes, I go. Hace, hace, algunos. That depends. Okay. Hace, hace una década in English? Década. A decade ago. Okay. Ago. Okay, this is a specific, the word ago is a specific for simple past. Okay, clear on that? Clear for uh, simple past expressions? Clear? Yes. You it's can cute. use them at any point, in cualquier punto, in simple past. In simple past. Okay, let's continue. Uh, what else, what else? Okay, this table. What are we going to do? We have affirmative, negative, no. Questions. In questions, sentences, sentences, but using, pero usando, regular, regular and irregular, irregular, irregular verbs. verbs. Irregular verbs. Okay, let's see this example. The question is, what did you do? What, what did you do last weekend? Okay, affirmative answer. Example. In the table, just let me show you. Okay, I'm gonna move it. There it is. Okay, example. I went to a concert. Okay, I went to a concert. Went. Mm -hmm. Is it a regular or irregular verb? Irregular verb. Irregular, correct. Very good. And it's affirmative. Check. I went. I went. In negative, how do I say? negative sentences in the simple past? I didn't. I didn't. Correct. We have to use the auxiliary did but in negative. Yeah. I can, uh -huh. I, teacher, I Tell can me. say I don't win. No. Not I don't win. I don't win. Win. No. I don't no. win. No. 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 I don't you know when. when. No. Uh, uh -huh. What do you think? What do you think? Correct. Digamos, or... yo no fui. <laughs> Para decir yo no fui, no va, uh, no aplicaba. Correct. Pero dice, uh, it is cold. No es, yo no quise eso. No. No. The no. thing is, the thing is, la cosa es that don't is auxiliary for the uh -huh. present Present. Present. We are talking sí, about the past. Cierto, uh -huh. cierto. We are talking about the past. If we talk about the past in negative, si hablamos de simple past in negative, is didn't. I didn't go. And what happens to the verb? ¿Qué le pasa al verbo? Bueno, no, normal. normal. Yes. Mm -hmm. No rules. No went. No nothing. It's normal. Okay. Uh -huh. Example. I, I didn't go to a concert. To a concert. Or, because it's negative, you can use any. It's the same. Any, yeah. any, any is for negative. All right. In question, how can I make a question? 
And did I go to a concert? Yes, the auxiliary is in first place. Auxiliary, subject, the verb normal, the verb normal. and the complement. Okay. And the question mark. Don't forget the question mark. Okay. It's a question. All right, very good. What about if I ask you, Jensi, uh, what did you do last night? Affirmative. You can use regular or irregular verbs. Jensi, what did you do last night uh, in your house? Jensi, Jensi, attentive. Ajá, uh ajá, -huh, uh -huh. Jensi, hello. Uh, oh, uh -huh. Okay, what did you do uh, last night in your house? Affirmative. Guys? Uh -huh. Okay, I is the first part, correct. I. Fui con mi mamá de compras. I. Cook, cooking, okay. cooking, cooking. Ah, cooking, 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 cook, cooking, cook, cooking, cook, like cooking. Cooking. Cook. Cook yeah. All right. Okay. You have the idea. The diner. First. Uh -huh. Can you? The diner. The dinner. Okay. The diner. Okay. Uh, the, diner. the dinner. Correct or incorrect? First, yeah. primero, regular or irregular verb, cook. Cook. It's regular. Irregular, cook. Regular, regular. regular. It's a regular, regular verb. It, it, to it make is. it in simple past, para hacerlo en simple past, a regular verb, what do I do? ¿Qué hago? In simple past. Uh, I add ed. Correct. I add ed. And now is simple past ahora sí es simple past but pronunciation teacher pronunciation cómo lo pronuncio teacher I cook cook I cook okay what you can do is this guys I'm gonna show you another tip le voy a enseñar otro tip quickly rapidito open a word document abre un word document paste paste the sentence, ponga la sentence ahí, any text, cualquier texto. Highlighted, lo, lo sombrea una parte, control letter A. Control A. And then, y luego, click on search. Le da click on search. The first option is, primera opción es, read. Read aloud. Let's see. He cooked the dinner. Did cook. you listen? Yes. Dinner. Uh -huh. Aha. Uh -huh. That is in word. Uh, magic. <laughs> magic. Dinner. Ah, okay. Complete. Again. Control A. Control A. ¿Por qué control A? Porque todo... Se selecciona todo y todo en inglés. All. All, correct. Control A. Oh. Then, then, click on this part. Read aloud. Ahí lo cerró, creo yo. Didn't work. No funcionó. Again, otra vez. -na -na -na. Click. He cooked the dinner. I. Cooked. Cooked. Letter T. Pronunciation T. I cooked. I cooked. I cooked. The dinner. I cooked yes. Aha, uh -huh. and that is the pronunciation in the simple past of cook. As yes. Nice, right? Isn't it? Must be nice. Yes. Yes. Ah, uh -huh. try it. Try it out. Probenlo. Okay. Ah, uh, I cooked the dinner. The dinner. Uh -huh, but pronounce, pronounce the simple past. Cooked. Correct. Right. I cooked 
then either. Then C, the negative, the negative part. I didn't. Correct. I didn't cook the, din the dinner. The dinner. All right. Okay, nice. Ah, mm. but we have a problem there. There is a problem. EV. EV. No EV. Mm. Correct. Check. Even uh, it is showing the correction in this part. Estamos mostrando ahí. No, the correction. No EV. No ID. Yeah, no, no ID. ID. I didn't cook the dinner. And question, Jensi, what is the question in about the same sentence? Did you cook the dinner? Cook the dinner. Uh -huh. Did you cook the dinner, Jensi, last night? Yes. I, I cooked. Cook. Yes. I could. Yes, I could. Uh, okay. Or if you can, if you want. Yes, I did. Easy. Yes, I did. See, Laisa. Yes, I cooked yes, I it. Did. Yes, I cooked it. O puedes decirlo así. Yes, I cooked it, teacher. Okay. Pretty good. Okay. Uh huh. All right. Very good, guys. Another one. Tell me, what did you do uh, last Saturday? What activities did you do? At least one. What activity did you do last Saturday? Mm, I went. I went to no. the park. <laughs> no went no. because one is already here as an example. Oh. You can use okay, okay. any type of verb. Any. We have a lot. A lot of verbs. Teacher, no me puedo los verbs. No los he practicado. What, is, what can I do? ¿Qué puedo hacer? Let's see. Oh, ah, a regular verbs list. Aha. Uh, let's check. There you have. Ahí tiene. Check. Many verbs. Accept, blah, blah, blah. Check. No me aparecí en clase. ¿Cómo digo? In English. No me aparecí en clases. No aparecí en clases. ¿Ah? <laughs> huh? In English. Mm, pero aquí lo quiero positivo. Mm. Ah, but... I said, aha, uh -huh, no, it's negative. Tiene que ser negative. Uh -huh, aha, correct, negative. very good. Aha, uh -huh, porque dije, no me aparece en clase. I didn't. I didn't. Appears. I didn't appear, yeah, you can use it. In, in class. class. Nice. In affirmative. I appear. I appear in class. In no. class. Yes. Why ED? Because it's regular. Regular, yes. What about teacher? Irregular verbs. I need to study. Irregular verbs list. Uh, okay, let's open this one. There you have. Ahí está. Awake and be. Be it, but in the simple past, because we are studying simple past. Simple past of awake? Awoke. 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 Simple Awoke. past of be, verb to be? Was, was or were. Was or were, uh, depending, right? Depending on the subject. And check, you can review. Non-memorize. Vea, mi hija. Aquí las tenía yo. <laughs> Jesse, the microphone. Ajá, uh -huh. cool. Cuidado con el micro ahí. No, yo no tengo frío. Calor microphone. está haciendo. Jesse, back. Okay, I will click on mute. All right. Guys, on the internet, you can find a lot of things. All right. In question, question, question about this example. 
Mm, did you did you appear in class? Did you only did you only you 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 or can I use any other subject? Or she. Ah, depending, she right? Appears. Did she appear? Did she appear? Uh -huh. Did she appear Pierce. in class? Class, no, sería appears. Appear. Did ah, you appears. mean with the letter S? Yes. Ah, uh, okay. No. What do you think, no. guys? ¿Qué creen? Yes or no? Uh, what do you think? No. For. No, uh, for. The auxiliary. Correct. In uh, negative and in questions, no rules oh, on the verb. Okay. No rules. Normal. Base form. Did she appear in class? Did she appear? Did she go to the supermarket? Did she spend uh, $30? Did she use the computer? Did they complete the exercise? Okay. All the time normal verb in questions and yeah. in negative sentences got it got it got it about that got it yes, yeah. yes. all right i hope so Espero que sí. okay next next part uh we have eight minutes okay let's see online activity about the simple mm -hmm. past tense let's open the link Okay, in this website, you can find this link in your presentation. You can have it handy, a la mano, fast and simple. Check. Level? Beginner. Ah, it's not for advanced, not the avanzado. Is it? Beginner. But we need to review. We have to review. I can repass that. Okay. Uh, help me, please, uh, William, with uh, with this part in the reading. Which must bear the past and past form by adding ed. Ed. Okay. With most verbs, but remember regular. Gen C. Yes. Gen C. Teacher. I am not the group, the WhatsApp. Ah, you are not in the WhatsApp group. Oh, okay, no problem. Just, yes. uh, okay, no problem. Why? But why? The question is why? Por qué? Okay, just let me, let me send it to you in this moment. Se lo voy a enviar, no problem. Uh, I have the access group WhatsApp link. Here it is. Aquí está. Here it is. Okay, uh, check the check the chat in this moment. Check it out. Okay. Uh, there it is. Okay, just click on it and you will see that it opens on the browser and then you can join. So already in the browser is a one. All right. All right. Yes. Okay. Uh, verbs. Continue. Continue, please. Yes. Okay. Perfect. Hold. Hold. Like. Light. Light. Want. Want. Wanted. Different Want. pronunciation. Oh. Wanted. Wanted. And work. And worked. T. Worked. Ah, Both teacher, things. but how do I know? Como se? Pronunciation in the regular regular verbs. We need to review. Uh, I will send you another link. Regular verbs pronunciation simple past. We need to review. Check. There are different pronunciations, but the, the three main, las tres principales. Uh, D. Next. T. Mm. ID. 
Esas son las tres. Ok. Um, I will send you the link. No problem. Le voy a enviar el link. Ok. Uh, continue, please, uh, Elip, with this part. Thank you, William. But there are a lot of irregular past tenses for in English. Here, here are the most common irregular verbs in English with their, with their past tense form. All right. Check the normal verbs and the corresponding simple past. Check. You have them in this part. Okay. Uh, let's see. Help me, please, uh, Joel. Uh, in which cases do we use simple past? We have the past tense to tell about. To talk about. Mm -hmm. something, something that happen, happening homes in the past. Oh, something that happened once in the past. Once in the past. Ha, once in the past. Jensi, examples? I meet my wife in uh -huh, 1983. Ah, perfect. Okay, you didn't forget. Nice. 1983, correct. I met. Pronunciation is met. Met. I met. Yeah, because the I base met. form is meet. Meet is present. Past, met. Next. Met. Okay. We went to Spain for our holidays. All right. We went to Spain for our, for our holidays. For our holidays. Hmm? They, they got home very late last night. Last night. Check. Simple past expression for the simple past tense. Okay, pretty good. Guys, this is useful information for you. After you check it out, you can practice with these exercises. Check. Grammar reference. Complete the sentences with the past simple of the verbs in brackets. That is exercise one, exercise two. About completing in the simple past. And you have more, check. We use did to make questions with the simple past. Is this in the table? It is the same, lo mismo, but with the link. And you can check the information about this. Even you have more exercises to practice with. Okay, guys, um, no more class, no more topics to cover. Besides this, you have all these links to practice about the simple past. Aquí hay mucho para hacer, de practicar el simple past. Okay, guys, uh, thank you for joining to the class. See you on Friday. Tomorrow, no class. class. Until Friday, yes. Tomorrow, free. Yeah, tomorrow is holiday. That's right. Okay, okay. teacher. Okay. See you, see you on Friday. Yeah, see you on the next Friday, guys. Thank you, mm -hmm. and have a good night. Thank you. See you. Thank you. Bye. Have a good night. Thank you. Good night. Good night, good night. Good night. Good night guys. Sweet Be drink. careful. Thank you. Rest. Rest a lot. Bye-bye.